Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I am looking at the outside here of the pillow replication from Henk Uren. And uh, we can see these plasma trails, these plasmoid trails maybe. Uh, are these balls of black copper oxide, or are they carbon rich, or are they iron rich? Probably. Uh, copper oxides but we'll find out in due course and if I go over here uh, we can see a split to the inside here so there's a crack on this edge and if we look at this it's a real fissure going on here and if we follow it down we can come to the main kind of blowout area here and uh, what I'm doing is I'm using the scroll wheel on the mouse to change the focal plane. So, really twisted here, isn't it? It's, it's not like just like blown out, it's actually twisted. There's a spiral effect going on here. Kind of to a degree there. Change the specular by doing the polarizing filter here. Go a little bit more around the edge. So here it's a little bit lower in the depth of field. Come around here. And there's this section which has kind of like been thrown out and this is quite a lot higher so I'm having to zoom out change the polarization so it's not so bright this looks like cuprous oxide is it? cupric oxide crystals red go through the focal plane there Interesting hole. I wonder what sort of scale that is. Uh, and it is about a hundred micron, about eighty micron, hundred micron, thereabouts. Okay. And I'll move around a bit more onto this edge again another sort of ejected area out here so it's quite close to the microscope objective so there we go it's all the way up there the focal pull what's that there what's that a sphere of some sort, type, I don't know. There's a piece of fibre on there, whatever. Gossamer, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? So, this is this blowout area. Look, this is very close to the lens, and it's auto white balancing, I think. It's unfortunate. Oh, look at that. Very pretty. Go over here. I think this is the edge. Yeah, when it changes the colour there, it's very copper-like, isn't it? And copper and brass. It is brass sample to begin with. So, here we go. On the edge here. Some more fibres of some sort there. I don't think they're anything to do with, with anything that came from the experiment. Come around here. In a minute we'll look into the hole. There we go, on the edge here. And this in, gives us a view of these kind of balls on the surface here, look. There is a ball on the surface. What will that turn out to be? This one looks like it's revealing its insides. The rest of them seem to be caked in stuff, but this one 
got a shiny thing on the inside. And what have we got here? More of this blowout area. Okay, so we're going to go and have a look a little bit more on the inside. So we'll stay, say, start here. So we're going to the beginning of the focal plane all the way up here. And we'll sweep back down through it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, what do we have here? What is that? What is that? What is that indeed? Hmm. It's going to be interesting to take a look at this whole area down here. Change the. Uh, that is. That polarizer right on there again. Gives a very different look, doesn't it? Hmm. Looks like there's two zones here. Maybe. Let's have a look over this side. Get a bit more specular. There we go. What is that? Interesting. Quite a lot of specular. I'll just drop the light a bit. Definitely has these kind of large crystals that are pointing towards some central area. So, if I change the zoom to about 50% or something, or maybe it's going to be in focus here. There we go. Get a better overview of the area. the top blowout area. Okay. Looking all the way into the inside. Features over there. Interesting, there's another hole here. Zoom back into that. <laughs> I 
you know, things being pulled towards that. Don't know. Then the bulk of the area of this thing looks a bit like this. It's copper oxides with these tracks on it. They look a bit like the tracks on the Vega Valley, but uh, slightly different. And what do we have here? What is that? That definitely looks different, that bit there. Of course, there's quite a few colours of copper oxide, so you mustn't let that fool you. Mm -hmm. okay. Coming down to the bottom area here. end of a trail. What is it? What is that at the end of a trail? Mm -hmm. Very blobby. Now, if you're starting with copper and you're making carbon, well, that would make it a lot bigger, wouldn't it? And uh, and you would have these growths on here. If this is carbon, of course, if it's absorbing oxygen and making it copper oxide, that would make it bigger as well. Kind of reminds me of little coral areas with sort of sand in between for those people that have gone diving in the past hmm the nature of these things is different down this end kind of like bigger grains structures on the edge here it's changed the uh, see it changing the uh, white balance should probably fix the white balance at least then it'll all be consistent ah look at that edge is that a blowout there don't know anything else along the edge Amazing how it's just the trail's gone through here. <clears throat> it almost beggars belief that this would actually be um, oxidizing it so quickly, but maybe. But if it's converting it to carbon or silicon or something. I don't know, we'll find out. Fascinating. And there's the hole. Looking into the hole. 
out of the hall. Again, look at the top edge here, where there's not quite so much going on. Mm -hmm. So this was the pillow replication. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.